right, so that trick right there is something that Christian Rosenbrock and I stumbled upon in 2017. We were riding a lot in Mauritius and we thought, hey, why not just do a rotation on the board? So we went out there, we tried it and we could find no info on it, uh, about it on the internet. So we just decided to call it the ballerina for some obvious reasons. Um, I have to say though, we did not invent it. Probably somebody else did it already back in 2017. I think it also goes by the name of Sally something. But what we're here for today is to teach you how to do that trick. So before I start this video, I just want to note, this channel is driven by you guys. And I would love to feature some of your videos on my channel. Next week Thursday, I'll do a reviewing video about your videos and give you tips and tricks how you can, for instance, better your style, not crash or land that certain trick. So make sure to post a video to Instagram, hashtag SA Masterclass underneath it to have the opportunity to get featured. The deadline is upcoming Monday, which is the 27th of April. After that, obviously, I'll keep on checking the SA Masterclass hashtag, so keep on using it. I would love to see your videos and feature it in this next episode. So before you try the ballerina, there are certain aspects and certain skills that are needed before you should attempt it. For instance, your kite control is very important and you can train this, for instance, on your twin tip already or even on your surfboard. For instance, the hand drag that I published in one of my previous videos, the link is down there, um, will really help you with getting and creating that weightless moment that's needed to throw your body around. So the kite control is obviously very important and then on the foil you will need to feel comfortable. Ride in with a decent amount of speed and your kite at 45 degrees. Steer your kite towards 12 and edge the board into the wind. Start pulling down the bar and get the foil to level out at a slight angle towards the wind. Just before the kite reaches 12, take off your back foot and fall into a back roll. Steer the kite towards the riding direction. Keep your front foot on the board and play with the bar so you fly at an even level. Place your back foot on the board to control and ride it out. So right now you must be thinking, what did I get myself into? Well, don't worry, take a breath. We're going to break this trick down in different segments and you can practice every single part on its own. So first up on that list is kite control. And this is something you can try perfectly with, for instance, a twin tip or a strapless board or even on the foil board. Check out, for instance, that hand drag video. It's down in the description below. The next thing is playing with that bar. What do I mean with playing with that bar? Well, if you pull that bar too much, you're gonna get lifted away from the board. If you don't pull down the bar and push it too far out, you're gonna get dropped into the water. And depending on how hard you steer your kite, you're going to have to pull in or push out more. So that's what I mean with playing with the bar. And this is something you can perfectly practice on, for instance, a twin tip. So if you ask me what gear you should be riding to do this, I would suggest lines between 20 and 24 meters length because then you will get that extra lift. The kite shouldn't be small, ride slightly bigger than you usually would on your foil because a bigger kite steers slower and gives you more consistent lift. And then let's say you do fall, which you're obviously going to do, and this goes for any trick you're trying with foiling. That front foot pressure is super important. If you fall and you take that front foot off, the board is gonna shoot out of the water. And even though the board might miss your head, you can still get that foil in a nasty place. So if you keep that front foot on the board and push down on it, your, your board is going to dive and that's gonna make sure it doesn't fly around and possibly injure you. And that's it for this week's episode. Don't forget to send in your video, hashtagging SA Masterclass on Instagram to get featured in next week's video. If you enjoyed it, give me a like, subscribe, and uh, yeah, I would love to hear some questions from you guys. So, fire on.